Now you may have noticed several changes here at Check over the last few months and there are lots more to come and we thank you for your patience as this station continues to grow in the coming days, weeks and months ahead. Now through all this there has been only one question that keeps coming up no matter where anybody from this station goes and that is when does Tony Parsons start? Well, tonight we can say he is here now. Tony has been in the station for the last several days working with producers and in news content meetings, meetings, adding his incredible experience and knowledge to our newsroom. Plus, he has been shooting new promos, as you see here, for our station as he gets ready for his new chapter in his career. Now to the question, when does Tony start? Well, we figure it's best to go right to the source. Tony Parsons is here with us now. Hi, Scott. Hi, Tony. Well, I start Monday night, actually, at 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. And I'm really looking forward to it, as I have been looking forward to coming over here to the island. You know, this is a realization of a bit of a dream for me, because 35 years ago, when I was a correspondent for another network, um, I came here um, and I thought, boy, if I could do in my job here on the island, this is where I would want to work. Well, I couldn't at the time, but now I can. So it's it's just great. I'm very excited. Well, and it seems, uh, and it's really true. No matter where anyone goes from the station, grocery stores, everyone's just saying, "When is Tony coming? Is this true? Is the rumor true?" And then when people find out it's true, people want to know why. So what is it? You're, you you have had a, a big draw to the island before in your past. I have. Uh, uh, my wife was born here. Uh, she has family here, and uh, you know, and we visited quite often. Um, at least once a month and we always enjoy being here we enjoyed the city and we enjoyed the people who who are here and our dog enjoyed Dallas Road <laughs> every morning we were here so uh, but the thing that lured me most of all was the idea of a of a, an employee operated station I, I just thought you know if these people think so much of what they do and what they have that they invest in it invest their time and their money then I want to be part of that, and that's really what drew me over here. Now, the 10 o'clock news is new to uh, Vancouver Island viewers, and uh, I don't know, it's been a while, I think, in our market in general, in Vancouver, it's Vancouver Island, since we had a 10. What do you think the potential is there? Well, I think, you know, I think a 10 o'clock show is a really good idea. I know, you know, other networks have tried it before, and it didn't really work out, but I think this one is going to work because of the resources we are building now and the input uh, we have. And, you know, it would be nice to send people to bed on the island or wherever they're watching, knowing that we've covered everything that they want to know on the island and uh, in the rest of the world as well, including weather and, of course, sports. And the difference is, too, the 10 o'clock is now going to a full hour, where it's That's been a right. half an hour, so it'll be a full hour on Monday, as well as the 5 o'clock news will be a 90-minute format, and it'll go right to 6.30. Uh, what do you look forward to most? getting into the chair here on the island? Um, getting to know people, getting to know uh, the people I'm going to work with. I, I have worked with some of them before uh, in Vancouver, but I, I think in getting to know the system, getting to know the stories, getting to know all the intrigue that's gone on and so on and so forth, I, I'm just really looking forward to it. Uh, usually I'm in bed by 10, but <laughs> I can't <laughs> so do that anymore. Is there going to be a bit of adjustment then? <laughs> I think so in a minor way. <laughs> uh, people also want to know about the dog, Jack. Well, Jack be under the uh, uh, If desk? Jack is invited, Jack will come because um, <laughs> he's that kind of a dog. He's, you know, he became um, a big star in his own right uh, when uh, in Vancouver. He used to sleep under the desk at 6 o'clock, and uh, <laughs> he's a great little... I, I say he's not a dog. I say he's a little person in a dog suit because that's the way he is. He's an amazing dog. Yeah. Well, uh, Tony, I can say on behalf of the entire staff here at Check, and I imagine most of our viewers are really excited to have you here, and thank you for um, you know taking this opportunity, and I think it'll be a really exciting journey well, for everybody. I know we're going to have a good time, and I'm looking forward to working with you. Thanks very much. Sounds good. Thanks, Thanks Tony. Tom. All right, that's it for us for now. Uh, Ed Bain is going to be up here in just a second. We'll look at weather. We'll see you in two minutes. Here's what's in store, brought to you by Save On Foods. How about skiing for spring break? The snow is five meters deep in Mount Washington for the Check New Snow Jam. More fun activities than you can shake a snowboard at. Stay all week. On the 16th, Dance Victoria presents company Marie Schwonard with two iconic dance pieces described as sensual, evocative, and a little bit crazy at the Royal. And in Imo on Saturday the 13th, it's a huge indoor garage sale. Dozens of tables, you can rent one too, of other people's stuff with proceeds going to the Nanaimo Salvation Army. Now, Sunday the 14th in Victoria, it's the 10th anniversary of Ashe Capoeira and the Afro-Brazilian Festival. Fabulous color and motion all at the Royal. From Czech TV, I'm Gordy Zupper for What's in Store. What's in Store is brought to you by Save on Foods. So much more in store.